Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is to set up our canvas. So um, we're going to be doing the JavaScript within the canvas element. So you can um, pause the video and copy down what I have here. Uh, it's a very simple HTML page. I'm using index.html here on the uh, web uh, the website um, on my server. Sorry, and you can run this one off of the desktop. It should run just fine. So uh, yes, you can pause the video and copy it down. Other than that, I will explain a little bit of why I have this structure. First of all, I want our canvas element to span across the entire page. I want the entire page to be just the canvas element. So I have this margin 0, padding 0. And then in the HTML body I have the height 100%. I set the overflow to hidden so that uh, if we don't want any scroll bars. We don't even want to go outside of the range we have so we don't even need scroll bars or any need of any problems so overflow hidden will take care of that. Then we set our background color to black because it's nice and easy to see and well either way white and black is a good way to see things. Um, so we will actually you know what I'll switch it to white because I'll draw debug things in black. That makes more sense. So down here we have our canvas element. Um, and we don't have the width and height set on either the style or the element tags. So you could easily set the, the style, um, you know, uh, width to 500 pixels and then the width to 500 500. You can set it like that, but we're not doing that uh, for these purposes, so we're just leaving it blank. So pause the video if you need to. Um, copy this down. And the main.js is the file we will be working in with our main JavaScript that controls the canvas. So uh, if you have that copied down, we will move to the main.js file. Yes. All right. So here's our main.js file. First thing we need to do is get our canvas element. So var canvas. We're going to set it into uh, this variable equals document dot get element by id canvas. Now we're getting the elements by id canvas because the canvas is id here. It's set to canvas. That's how we're going to call it. So we get our canvas. Now we need to set our width and height of the canvas. So we'll do canvas.width equals and we can set this up so uh, we get the client. It's what's called the client which is the pages basically the page width and height. So we'll get the document.body.client.width and then we're going to go down and get the height as well or set the height, I'm sorry. To the client height. Now we want now that we have the tag element width and height of that canvas tag, uh their inner element thing, uh set uh we need to set our cascading style sheet, our CSS style, uh the style of the element to the same width and height. So we'll set our canvas.style.width equal to canvas.width, oh, well, sorry, canvas.width, and then we're going to add px at the end because um, CSS wants the pixel uh, amount. So we add px for pixel. And then we need to set the style height. We're going to set it equal to the canvas.height plus px. So now we have our canvas set up, the width and height, and now we just need to set up uh, the context. The context is used for drawing on the canvas. We need to draw shapes and things. So the next video we'll talk about the rectangle that we're going to create. It's going to be a rectangle object in JavaScript that's going to have various functions that are going to help us a lot when we continue on the framework. 
So we're going to go back. We're going to do a var ctx. That's what most people use. And we're going to set it equal to canvas dot get context 2d. Now we have our context and our canvas set up. I am. That's going to be the end of this video. We. This is just the setup video. Um, and next video we're going to work on rectangles. So I will see you then.